Hey everybody, Andy Monti here again with a brand new video on one of the biggest solutions of the pole base system, which is the speed of installation. We're here to give you all the tools in your toolbox so you can finish on time and on budget. From our last video, we learned it could take weeks before you could actually mount your pole on top of your sight lighting foundation if it's been cast in place. The way to solve this problem is to pre-cast your sight lighting foundation with a system like pole base. That way, once the product arrives on site, it's already been cured, so the compressive strength of that product can kind of handle the load of the pole that you're gonna mount on top of it. And in addition to that, you can have a product that you can be proud of from an aesthetic standpoint, instead of having something that looks like hot garbage on site when you're driving in. So, how are these things installed anyway? For starters, you're going to mark your site at each location where the site lighting foundations are going to be. At this point, you can start to auger your holes, usually 6 to 12 inches in diameter greater than the actual diameter of the unit you'll be installing. This allows you to have some wiggle room when you're actually installing the unit, so you're not going to hit the sides of that hole and pour dirt into the bottom, which is going to make it hard to level. Once the hole is augered, you're going to pour 6 inches of crushed stone into the bottom of this hole as a leveling pad. Once the product is actually installed, it's going to be able to sit level and with that stone foundation, it's not going to sink or tip very easily. At this point, you can take your lifting device and put it onto your pole base unit via the bolt configuration. And now you can pick it up, set it into the hole, just make sure that your conduit is lined up with the trenches on site. The next step is to backfill the unit. Generally, we suggest using crushed stone for this process and you fill the hole up to about where the conduit line is on the pole base unit. There are couplings to these conduit that are at the top and below grade portion of your pole base unit. At this point, you can take your conduit from the trenches Make sure everything's primed and glued and your wire's ready to go and run both your wire and conduit into the pole base unit so that when this thing is over, you can actually mount the pole and pull your wire right up and get everything lit. Since everything is cured already, you should be able to mount your poles the same day, which is a huge help. All you have left to do before you're gonna mount your pole is complete backfilling once that conduit wire has been run. And you can finish up to the top of the unit whatever way that the plans dictate. So whether it is asphalt in a parking lot, concrete in a sidewalk setting, or greenery if this is in the island of a parking lot, you can get everything ready to go and aesthetically make sure you're proud of the look of your project. The electrical contractors that use the pole base system really value their own time. And that's because they realize that it is far more valuable to spend your time running wires and getting things lit up and operational rather than pouring concrete and watching it dry. But hey, I could talk to you guys all day about the advantages of the pole base system. Why take it from me? Why not listen to the first-hand account from an electrical contractor who has actually used us on his project? Let's check it out. My name is Wayne McFall. I own Wayne's Electric. My father started the company in 1981. Um, we do all kinds of commercial projects. Yeah, the, the precast base worked great when you do have a deadline because when there was everybody in the parking lot working at the same time, we didn't have to worry about finishing off uh, sauna tube base and letting it cure. We were able to just drop in the light pole bases, get them connected, let the excavators come in, finish getting the parking lot ready, and we could walk away from it. It was saved a lot of time on a project that has a deadline. Whoever held up the project got a $10,000 a day fine, and I didn't want to be the one that, to get the fine. <laughs> so the bases made a, a huge, huge difference on speed. Only took about Oh, 15 minutes to half hour to set them, have them squared up, and have them backfilled, and have the conduits connected. It, it worked really, really well. I probably saved at least 20 man hours, um, which saves me a couple thousand dollars. It was, it was a nice thing, so, especially on a rush project. I would say to use these bases. Um, they're, they're easy to install. Um, they are um, easy to hook up. They're fast, so I would recommend it to any other electrical contractor out there, especially if the client he's working for wants a new modern look, something that looks better than the neighbor's property. Um, it's, it's a very easy, simple, affordable um, solution to the sonitude. 
See? I couldn't have said it better myself. In conclusion, I need you to absolutely obliterate that like and subscribe button so that the next time we come out with a fun video like this, you'll be able to see it and check it out. Additionally, if you found this video helpful, why not share it with someone who could actually benefit from the information or leave a comment on what you want to see next time. If you want to learn more in the meantime, we have links in the description. So you can check it out and you can actually get a quote on the pole based product manufactured locally. Or if you want to begin manufacturing a product like this and become our newest manufacturer, we have another link so you can go in and check out the business opportunity. So with that, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.